Oh, hi. Oh, How's my it going? Goodness. Oh, my God. You what? just walked into my home and it's Whoa. totally natural. I know, right? Universe. I have the keys, right? And everything. That's great. Um, oh, hi. My name is Kyle. I'm here with... Dan. Perfect. You know, we were trying to do a collab, what, like six months ago? For a while, yes. Yeah. I think it started on the day of Make a Vlog Day. Oh, yeah, great. you approached me that day. I've been uh, busy uh, with uh, video games. <coughs> yeah. Right. Sorry, the flu. Yeah, you should um, get so, that looked at. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, it's been a long time coming, but finally, I'm here, and you are here, and we're gonna talk movies. Let me explain a little bit about how this came together. We came up with this idea about, I would pick a movie that you've never seen before. Yes. You would pick a movie that I've never seen before. We'd watch them, and then we'd talk about it. So there's a movie, a Canadian movie, that I picked for Dan that we're going to see over on his channel. But today, we're going to talk about The Yellow Sea. The Yellow Sea. A, uh, if you know me from my channel, if you guys are here from my channel, you know I'm a big fan of Korean cinema. Mm -hmm. They just know how to make a good movie. I, when I suggested, because we suggested three movies and we got to pick from those three movies. So mm -hmm. when I gave you my pool of movies, I was silently hoping that you pick this movie. Good. Because uh, one, I won't have to rewatch the other movies sure. because I've watched this movie so many times. And two is one of my favorite movies. Why is this one of your favorite movies? Okay, um, the reason why, I think is because it's one of those movies that I watched without ever seeing the trailer for it. Mm. Usually, when you watch one of those movies... Switch the camera. That's right. When you watch one of those movies that you've seen the trailer, you kind of know what's coming. You're in it for the ride. It's a movie that it escapes cliches all the time. I mean, like, let's get one thing out of the, out of the gate here. This conversation is going to be filled with spoilers. Okay. okay, good. Let's let's put that let's spoiler warning. Let's put this out in. there. There's going to be spoilers because we want to I want to talk about this movie. That's right. right. Number 1, there's a yellow sea. Number 2. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let's start talking about the movie itself here then. And I'll kind of take you through my emotions as I was watching this okay. movie last night. So I watched it very very recently. Uh, so it starts off there's this guy who's, you know, trying to find his missing wife. He's this cab driver, and then he's offered this job to make a bunch of money so that hopefully he can go and meet up with her again. That's, in essence, the, the basics of the yeah. movie. I kept having my expectations subverted a little bit. Because when it first starts off, I'm, okay, I kind of know where this movie is going to. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, nope, okay, first little thing, uh, twist happens, it's like, this this last job does not go off as expected and then the, like the two mob bosses kind of come into the picture and you start to get unravel this kind of I don't know onion of a, of a film where there's more going on when you first originally think yeah, yeah. initially I I said that the movie does away with cliches mm -hmm. now that is true up to the point that the plot if you hear it out you think that is very stereotypical I mean a man sure. down in his luck needs to do one final job to yeah. pay some debt you think you know where this movie is going yeah. but it doesn't go there first of all it is so crushing it's <laughs> yes. a very sad movie where everything feels doomed to begin with and and then when you watch it you realize it was doomed to begin with yeah, and that's the, that's the hard thing as, as somebody, myself, who usually has a very hopeful outlook on life. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty depressing movie. It's very bleak. Very bleak. Like, nobody really uh, achieves their goals. No one ever has, like, that really great, like, triumphant moment. There's no catharsis it's, from yeah, it. It's, it's just uncutted. like, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, I wonder sometimes if people, when I talk about my interest in movies and my pick for my, my best movies and my favorite movies, I wonder if people sometimes just, they just look at me and just go like... Do you Damn. need a hug? Who hurt you, man? Do you yeah, need a hug right. or something? Who that's hurt right. you so bad? I mentioned spoilers, and yeah. I want to discuss this. The most tragic part of the movie, that has, there's a lot of tragedies that happen in that movie. Sure. What is the, the most tragical part in that movie for you? For me of, personally? Yeah, I of mean, that journey of that hero, of the cab driver. Okay, so <laughs> I actually have kind of two answers for this. Okay. I mean, the, the emotional thing that hurt me the most is him uh, uh, seeing his wife. Uh, again, or girlfriend. I think that there's some way that you can look at that as that it's not actually her, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you really want to read it that way. Yeah. But he thinks it definitely is, is yeah. her after he thinks he's absolutely been killed. And knowing that he'll never be able to actually meet her, talk with her, be with her ever again. It's like, ugh, huge gut Destroys punch. Destroys you. Destroys yeah. you, yes. The other one is because this movie features so many knife fights, 
I have this weird condition, I call it a condition, <laughs> where I actually feel phantom pains when I see someone get stabbed. Like it really affects me a whole lot. So when I see people yeah. like get their throats cut or like stabbed into the side, I'm like, ugh, like it really is like gross to me. I had to pause it a couple times, like I'm, I'm okay. It's I have visceral. To, I have it's to like, psych myself up to see the rest of it. It's so real. Another thing, the action, uh, the violence in the movie, the way it's shot, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't rely on any cuts or anything like that. He's a cab driver, the main character. So you know that he's not a fighter. He's not a hitman. He doesn't know how to use weapons. The movie is shot in a way that he emphasizes that it doesn't it doesn't use his cuts for the action it has some very steady shots of of chases of this guy running where you can feel the tension the tension is not hidden away from by cuts by the edit it's just shown to you so you feel that this guy cannot fight he, uh, he's just running for his life it's not methodical it's not pretty the fights they're just they're, they're yeah. gruesome and brutal. Usually, you go, you watch a fight movie, you you walk out of that movie going like, I want to kind of get in the fight, you know? I That's right. Just practice. But you watch this movie and you're like, Whoa, dude. I, well, yeah, I know. I know we've been staying, sticking on this point for a while, but Sorry. one last thing to say about that is I, I agree. Like, if you look at the and I love superhero films, but if you look at most modern superhero films, the fight scenes are very well choreographed. Hoorah! It's like a dance. Stuff. It's like a dance. This one, it feels like. Yeah, it, it's not easy to kill somebody. Like no. you have to do a lot of things to actually kill a person. It takes some time, yes. And they go into very specific detail about that to be like, yeah, I never want that to happen. Yes, <laughs> that's, exactly. Looks, that looks disgusting. I tweeted you actually last night as I was watching it about like, oh, this is a really great pick that you had for me because he's waiting out there for his like last job to finish, and he's like, oh, there's people going to kill this guy already, and then kind of like, that's kind of like flips him into like this larger story that's going on. And on that, that was like, that was the moment that flipped. There's like, oh, okay, so there's more that's happening to this movie. On that side of uh, <clears throat> when you discover that there's more to it, mm -hmm. right? When uh, I think it's when there are two big bosses of the movie. Yes. And when yeah. the second one comes into play, you realize, oh, this is a whole, it's a conspiracy involving this poor cab driver. The final confrontation is not between the protagonist and the antagonist. That's right. It's between yeah. Both antagonists trying to get the protagonist. I that that's that blue kind of yeah. blew my mind. That's actually an interesting point. I hadn't really put that together. But it you're blew right. my mind a little bit. Like that, the two villains of the story fight it out. Like that kind of like cliche classic. Yeah. Not so cliche because it's horrible. Like this, they suffered through this fight. That's right. They fight it out in the pursuit of the protagonist. And I and I I didn't see that coming. Right. It's just it's something so new to have a story uh, like kind of take place away from the protagonist when he's been part of that story for so yeah. long it, it felt new yeah. refreshing and he comes in there and kind of tries to sweep up the pieces and as then much as suddenly he can. just hey i guess kinda... the i guess the job is done here and it's it felt new and uh you don't i didn't see that coming at all i i there's two kind of minor criticisms i can throw at this movie okay. which is do you think there's any larger point to what this movie's trying to say not that there needs to be necessarily, but do you think this movie is trying to tell us something, or is it just supposed to be this? So, like, you're you're story? searching for like a theme, as yeah. in Like what this movie represents. Um, I think it represents failure. Mm. I mean, changing. Like, I mean, you you can tell that the character at the beginning of the movie is completely different than the one that that you end up. It's also the movie is also very kind of Tarantino esque that is divided by chapters. Yeah, right? that's right. And uh, and you feel the change within the character each chapter. But I think it's just about about failure and lost. The character he goes out to to do these this task, this almost impossible task, and he fails at every step of the way. And he also fails on what he was there truly to do, which was to search for his wife. Right? right. It was an added benefit of his quest. He fails at that too. If you were to draw anything out of the movie, I would say failure is the main theme here. And then, like the second minor criticism that I have is that it annoy you in any way we have this cab driver who absolutely we were shown he's not like an expert at doing yeah. all these things but still is seemingly slippery enough or good enough to like evade we're talking like dozens of people chasing after him constantly yeah uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because <clears throat> I do think that in some way you think like could he really get away there's a scene uh, that he's I think they're at a, a dock or something there's a ship and he's escaping that ship and he's running and another character slams him against the ground you see like 12 people running and you don't know if he's gonna kind of slither his way and he managed to get away he gets in the car right. and, and runs it, it, 
on certain, it might, it might seem unbelievable, but at the same time, like you mentioned before, it really shows how hard it is to kill somebody. To sure, like, yeah, yeah. to grab somebody, pin them to the ground, and then, and then kill that person. You see that that person is fighting for their life and is not as simple as just like, Boom. And then yeah. all I need is a hatchet, apparently, according to this movie. Yeah, and uh, lots of swings. It's That's not one. It's not one thought. swing, people. It's not one swing. That's you gotta. Right. You gotta really just. Hashtag not one swing. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why I should. You know. You should be tell, with, I it, should, with it. I shouldn't be telling people that it requires multiple swings of a hatchet to kill yeah. somebody. Yeah, I mean, overall, I really, really did love this movie a whole lot. Like you said, I'm there's glad. things, there's twists and turns that. I wasn't expecting. I think that there are just really effective performances in the main roles that we have. You're gonna feel some things that you haven't <laughs> felt in a while, and it's gonna make you wanna, you know, touch the wall in the shower and think about your life. Right. Just it's watch one of those movies. Watch Old Boy. It's much. <laughs> <laughs> Not the American version. No, don't watch the American yeah, version. Yeah, because that's actually chipper. That's pretty chipper. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming over, Dan. Thanks for having me. If people wanted to keep in contact with you on the internet, how is that possible? Well, I do have a channel where I discuss films. I try to shoot my own little short films as well. Um, it's called On the Web with Dan. You can just go to youtube.com slash Daniel Nobre on the web. Uh, my Twitter is obdankenobi because I'm witty like that. And uh, if, you're, if you're into Instagrams, I got some cool Insta stories. It's obdankenobri. There we go. Because my name is cool like that. I wish I could have that type of synergy. I do not. If you want to keep in contact with me, I'm here. You, you're already here, so you know how to do that. We, you can come and see us discuss a Canadian film on Dan's channel. My channel. So I would go and go and do that. Shot here in Calgary. That is right. Probably not far from this very it's office. It's not. Literally like three blocks east from here is where that film was actually shot. So. All right. I'm pretentious that way. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm talking to a camera here. <laughs> all right, now, live studio audience, you clap and cheer because we're over. And... <laughs>